Oh, we're recording. I should move that. <coughs> clapping's good. Yeah, that's the idea is to help time everything with the clapping. Yeah. yeah. I'm wondering if which ones are off didn't have a clap. They usually are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to say you have the clap. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! I just got accused of having chlamydia, folks. <laughs> or not? I don't know. Anyway. For acceleration. Uh, <laughs> 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 I think we have an example. <laughs> the rate of responding changing over time, right? Um, so, anyway, <clears throat> acceleration. Uh, often you hear it as acceleration chart or all sorts of stuff. Anyway, I was taught to an acceleration chart, but uh, really what acceleration is, it's a measure of acceleration, right? Uh, so, how does a bit, the rate of responding change over time, right? So, from your perspective here, how does it change over time? So, this would be an increasing, so accelerating acceleration chart. Here's a, a negative acceleration, or some people would say deceleration. Acceleration. Oh, what an awful word. So negative, or so positive acceleration, negative acceleration, we call those acceleration charts. It's about not just increasing behavior. It's not cumulative stuff. It's literally looking at how the rate of responding changes. And remember, rate of responding is rates, uh, you know, responses over time. So this is responses over time over time, which is a bit odd to think about, but um, you'll, you'll get it if you keep playing around with it. How quickly is someone responding to something? So the joke earlier about um, the sexual behavior, if I'm having lots and lots of sexual behavior right now, maybe down the road I'll be having less and less or more and more. So that rate of responding and how it changes over time.